好嘅都係好嘅。There is a little bit of ice in here already, just step over to not stand on the ice, okay? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, if you think that's cool, give me half an hour. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Give me half an hour. Cool. Okay, guys, we're going to cross the bridge. The deal is only two people allowed on the bridge at the same time. Everyone gets it? Yeah, yeah only two people. So what's going to happen, I'm going to cross first. Once I'm halfway through the bridge, next person. Once okay. that person is halfway through the bridge, next person. Some of you are going to be much faster, some of you are going to be much slower, but please allow the distance between yourself and the person in front of you. Okay? Nice and slow. Matt, we first, so we're going to go low. We first, so we're going to... Go... go high. We go low, you go high. <laughs> well, he's going to go low as well. You go high. Okay. 
How are we feeling? Great. Not bad. Good stuff. Come, come. Come. Come, 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 come. Come! Slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> no running in Iceland. No one is rushing. Okay, guys, a very important thing. Uh, from now on, small steps or safe steps, especially walking down. Look what happens when I make a big step, the whole body weight is shifting to the front, yeah? So if you make a small step, you're fully in control. Walking down, lean back, and small step, okay? We'll be walking up this moraine, then we're gonna go for about 20 seconds in, and we're gonna start to walk down to see the first feature that we're gonna see today. Nice and slowly, no one is rushing. If you've got any problems, if you're scared or anything like that, just shout Martin, okay? And I can guide you one to one. It's not a problem. Are you cold? No. Let's see, shake. I'm scared already. Are you scared already? <laughs> wow, you're gonna fear, uh, face your fears today. Don't be scared, small stones, nothing. I was joking, man. Nothing will happen. Mother Nature is trying to connect with you. <laughs> Take a picture. <laughs> Stand up. Nice and confident. Yeah. Don't walk like a cat. <laughs> walk like a boss. Hold it. <laughs>
looking down, lean back and smoke them. You know, the smoke. Pardon? You're gonna start putting on crampons yeah. right away? Cool. Uh, we can go to the bit, uh, front and do it there. You okay. do your interview. Yes, yeah. And then you just. So we're going to put our tampons on. So if you can create like a semicircle in here, it's very important that everyone can see my feet. Uh, we're going to leave that bit clear because the group over there will be just going this way inside. So just come this way. Don't be scared. Not just yet. <laughs> right, we're going to put our crampons on. Come, come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Find yourself a flattish spot. Right, take your crampons out of your axis. 
this, separate them and hold one crampon in each hand. At this point, it really doesn't matter which crampon in which hand you're holding. We will be doing it step by step. If you feel like you're a little bit lost, you're not sure how you done this properly, all this business, don't worry, I will be checking every single crampon before you even move from here. So I can correct whatever is not right, yeah? So don't, don't worry about that. Just make sure that there is a space for this group to pass. Yeah, there is space, perfect. So we're holding one crampon in each hand. The helmet is gone. <laughs> You're not going on a trip. <laughs> okay, so guys, first things first, there is a right crampon for right foot and left crampon for left foot. The way to tell which one is which one, super easy. You're looking at the strap. This strap needs to be on the outside of your crampon. So this crampon is for my right foot, yeah? So I would like everyone to hold only one crampon and I would like it to be the right crampon for right foot. No, 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 wait. So we're holding only one crampon for the right foot. The other one, put it down. That's crampon for your uh, left foot. You need, you need this one. All the way around? Yeah, so keep just this one. Keep that one. Perfect. This one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so we're all doing the uh, right foot first, yeah? Make sure your crampon is fully extended. A uh, crampon has two basket, front basket and a heel basket. Heel basket needs to be in an upward position, 90 degrees, and the front basket needs to be fully open just like that. I'm not sure you're gonna see from there what I'm doing in here. Yeah. So open the front basket, yeah? Front basket needs to be open. And again, we'll be doing it step by step. Don't worry if you lost in translation somewhere. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it for you. We're gonna place the crampon on the ground. And we're gonna slide our heel all the way back. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna slide our heel all the way. Back. We're gonna close the front basket just like that. Next step, you're going to take a strap from the side of your crampon. Please keep it nice and neat. no twist, no knots, anything like this. That strap goes through the front basket, from the inside into the outside. This way. You're going to learn a lot of new tricks today. <laughs> yeah, from the inside into the outside. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't need to judge the side. No. It's, it's too cool. loose. Don't worry. It's cool. Okay. Don't worry. If we need to adjust the size, I will adjust the size within 20 seconds on the ice. Okay. Don't worry. Next step, you're gonna see there is another plastic loop on the side. We're gonna take this strap, and this strap goes through this plastic loop as well, from the inside into the outside. And if you've done this properly, you should get a V shape on your boots. Yeah. So we're aiming to get this beautiful, nice, clean V. Magic. Oh. We, we, it's not on yet. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. Just do what I'm doing and whatever is wrong, I'm gonna correct it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Next step, guys, you're gonna see there is uh, two metal rings on the side. You're gonna take a strap, pull it across the boot at the front, and you're gonna pull that strap through two metal rings so it goes through both of them. And you should get like a, a triangle shape on your boots. Super easy. Perfect. We're gonna wait for everyone. Nice. Next step, you're gonna open the rings like a book. You see, I can open the rings like a book. I take the strap, and this strap goes through the top ring. So it's like a motorcycle helmet system. I'm gonna do it again. So I'm gonna open the rings like a book. I'm gonna take the strap, and this strap goes through the top one. And your crampon is on. Nice, okay. And the crampon is on. Go ahead. Don't have your So, the crampon is on. For now, it's super okay. loose. Uh, we've got this strap. We don't care about how loose it is. We don't care about the strap. 
we're gonna put the second crampon on, okay? And then I'm gonna show you how to make them super nice and tight and what to do with the strap. Please do not do anything with this, because I guarantee you, whatever you do with it, I will have to undo it. I've seen it all. Every single trip, someone just like, do some weird knots and stuff. I'm gonna show you a super easy trick. So, put the second crampon on. If you know how to do it, you can just crack on with it. If not, I'm gonna go through the whole procedure again, make sure it's fully extended, peel basket in an upward position from basket fully open. You're gonna place the crampon on a flat surface, slide your heel all the way back. You're gonna close the front basket, take a strap from the side, please keep it nice and neat, no twist, no knots. The strap goes through the front basket from the inside into the outside. Next step, you're going to go to the side loop. The strap goes through the side loop from the inside into the outside. Make sure that it's nice and neat. You get in V shape on the boots. Next step, we're going to go across the boot at the front and we're going to pull the strap through two metal rings. So it goes through both metal rings. We're going to open rings like a book and we're going to pull the strap through the first one. And our second strap is to be on. Yeah, you go through the whole thing. Just like that, you're going to open the master book and you're going to pull the strap to the top one. Second clamp on it on. At the front, at the front, no, 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 at the front. Yeah, at the front. And it goes through two metal rings. Need some help, my friend? Oh, no, I'm fine. No worries. I'm going to go Please turn that for me. Use your mouth. Sorry? Use your mouth. Uh, yeah. Uh, is it right? Uh, sure. Okay. So, oh. let's wait oh, for everyone to have two crampons on. Through both? Uh, uh, okay. And you open it. And then do the second one. Uh, okay. Yeah, the uh, rings like a book. Thank you. And pull it through the first ring. Anyone's got any problems with crampons? Let me know. Don't worry. Mm. Uh, once I'm checking stuff, okay. 10 seconds all done. <laughs> I would put your foot on the flat surface, not on the rock. It will be easier for you. Okay. So guys, as you, as you notice, the crampons are very loose. At the moment, we need to make them super nice and tight because they literally become the part of our boots for time being on ice. So first, just watch me and then you can try to do it yourself. We're going to see who had a good breakfast this morning. So I pull always on the inside strap, super strong. I hold it with a spare hand, look how much slack I took away. Then I go to the top strap, I pull the slack across, hold it with a spare hand, take a strap on the side, do this a few times, bam, done. And again, pull it always on the inside first, super strong, hold it, pull the slack across oh, at Senec, the top, Senec. hold it, take a strap, do this a few times, nice and tight. I'm gonna have a look in a second and correct whatever is not quite right. No, actually you've done it almost almost. You've got lost a little bit of the end. Okay, so I will be checking your crampons, guys. I'm gonna make them super tight if they're too loose, and I'm gonna correct whatever is not quite right. Let's have a look. Your shoes are really loose, you need to do your shoelaces. Okay, can I have a look? No. No worries. Stand up. I'll do it for you. Stand up, my friend. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, perfect, thank you. Hello. Thank you. Not a problem, I think. Okay, Thank so you. I've checked every single one. Now I'm going to show you what to do with the strap. If it happens that you share my passion for fashion and you've got high socks, mm. you can do what I'm doing. If you don't have high socks, don't do anything. I'm going to show you something else. But if your socks are even like that high and it's high enough to do this, you go around the sock and you tuck it in. Oh, looks good. Super easy. <laughs> you can do that. Oh, Just make sure that your strap is fully covered by the sock. Ah. But again, if you don't have high socks, don't worry. I'm a man full of surprises I can show you. Perfect. Okay, so. Is this going up? Is this going up? Oh. No. So it's the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Everyone's got the straps now. What's happening here? I don't have, I don't have Hold it. But you've got plugins, it's okay. Yep. One knot. And that. Oh, is it done? Okay, so it's done. Is it done? Everyone else is fine, yeah? So, guys, put your helmets on. Whoever is ready for helmets, put your helmets on. Inside, or is this no, going to be the same? No, it's the same. Oh, that's wow. Thank you. 
it's not gonna be colder, it's not gonna be warmer. It's gonna be bluer. <laughs> so guys, at the back of your helmet, you've got a wheel that you can adjust the size with, yeah? And once you put your helmet on, the way to tell if it's not too tight next to your chin, you should be able, like this one is too tight, you should be able to put four fingers in, yeah? You to make sure that it's nice and comfortable because you will be wearing that. So just make sure you can put four fingers in. And then we do something what we call yes, yes test. Well, you listen to your guide today. Yes, if it stays on your head, it's good enough. Oh, sorry, can you put this? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you in a second. So. Yep. We're gonna go. If you can, can I open this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and is this tight enough? It's not. Guys, you've got this wheel at the back. Make sure that it's nice and tight on your head. Yeah. Yeah? Everyone can do yes, yes? Like, you cannot. Like, can oh, of course it is. Oh, okay. Right now? Yeah, thank you. Anyone? No. no. <laughs> okay, no worries. Right now? Yeah, that's good enough. Good, 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 good. Okay, guys, leave your axes in here. We don't need them inside. Uh, we're gonna go to the first piece that we're gonna see today. Make sure take your time and you've got your picture because the next feature that we're gonna see today is much bigger, but it's not as blue. So if you want a blue ice picture, that's the one. Yeah. So first things first, make sure you do not trip on your trousers. It's super easy to trip on your trousers with uh, your spikes. Okay. So keep your feet quite nice and white. Nice and steady. And let's go. What? Slowly. <laughs> quite deep. Nice and slow. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Quite low, so you might want to grab your Watch for it. Remember the music on your time.
that we have features like this is most of them have been created uh, by water or the very, very large one by uh, eruption, previous eruptions. These features, they keep appearing and they keep disappearing. So this one probably is going to last for another like two, three weeks and then it will be gone. Oh. And then we had to find uh, another one. Quite interesting thing about it is look for air bubbles in the uh, in the ice. They're super important. Sorry, if I could just grab the outside. They're very, very important. And I'm going to tell you in a second why. <laughs> so the ice in this area of the glacier, this is the bottom part of the glacier, we're going to go up in a second, is about 2,000 year old. So these air bubbles, they're about 2,000 year old air bubbles. By extracting the air from these uh, bubbles, scientists can tell us exactly what was the weather like, what were the weather conditions like, what was the temperature like, even what people were growing in this area. Well, there was no people 2,000 years ago in here, but the higher you get, the younger ice you're going to get. And uh, by going to North and South Pole, you can access very, very old air bubbles. Uh, it's like a, a time machine, really. The black thing that you see in here and the oldest black bits that are trapped in the ice, that's the volcanic ash from the previous eruptions. Oh, so what oh happened gosh. in the past, there was a volcanic eruption. The ash came down on the ice and the new layer of ice has been built on top of that. So again, this is very, very precious for science because they can actually tell what was the seismic activity back in the days by dating the ice. Iceland is the youngest land on the planet and by looking at what's happening in Iceland we can actually learn about the history of uh, any other lands being created uh, on our beautiful planet. This ice is melting, the whole part of the is melting. This glacier, remember about it when we're actually on the glacier and you see the volume of it, will disappear within the next 90 years completely. 40% of Iceland is covered in ice, and it's uh, predicted that within the next 300 years, Iceland will be completely free of ice. There will be no ice left in Iceland. The first thing, the name of the country doesn't make sense anymore, but the more serious thing about it is that a lot of people don't realize that this is like a wake-up call for all of us, because most of drinking water is captured in ice on our planet. The population of planet is keep growing, we're losing ice in massive volumes, like the Greenland is in massive, massive crisis at the moment. They're losing so much ice. And uh, funny enough, Google already started to invest in uh, sources of water, drinking water. They know what they're doing. Within the next 250 years, drinking water, the price of drinking water might be as expensive as gold. So, yeah, a bit shocking. I can see your face. Uh, you also one of the last generations ever in a humankind history been able to walk on the glaciers because they all melting all over the world mm -hmm. so if you go to like especially in europe you go to paris you've they've got alpha tower you've got to rome they've got Colosseum. in iceland there are glaciers and without the glaciers the nation is losing its identity as well uh, as a country and as a nation uh, so a little bit of a homework get ready for a lot of green talk here in iceland when you go back home, give up one burger a month. One burger a month. And you're saving up 27 liters of drinking water. Yeah? Go to any McDonald's, count how many people are eating there, multiply by 27, and then you're going to know how much drinking water just been wasted on unhealthy food. Mm. Yeah? For some reason, when we have kids, we want the best for them. Uh, we want good education, we want them to be happy, we want them to be healthy. We completely forgot about our grand-grandchildren. These people are going to hate us. So, this is very, very serious. Iceland is the first country in the world with 100% green energy. It's one of the first countries suffering due to global warming. People don't realize that sharing planet is like sharing a bedroom. If I keep my corner nice and neat, but you make a mess in your corner, it's going to stink in the whole bedroom. Yeah? So, Hopefully you're going to get a lot of nice pictures today, but you're going to learn a lot about how to save the planet. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Just give up meat in total because the meat industry is destroying everything. Watch it. Yes. Uh, my bag is just there. Can I just... Go and grab it, my friend. Yeah. I left it. Does anyone else have a bag over there or anything? No. Don't run. Take your time. You're on holiday. <laughs> so, yes, guys. Imagine that your grandchildren
<laughs> your grand-grandchildren won't be able to have a picture like this at all. And the damage has been done, we cannot prevent the problem. The glaciers are melting away, we cannot save them. But we can save North Pole, we can save South Pole. You know, there's a lot of things that we still can do. So, yeah. We're going to go up to the hill to see another feature. And then we're going to go up a little bit more. There's going to be a lot of walking. I'm hoping that you're going to get super tired at the end, because if you're tired, that means it was a good trip. If you're tired, you remember the trip more. If you remember the trip more, you're going to give up that one burger. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Think of me when you do that. So guys, grab an axe. It really doesn't matter which one at this point. As long as you've got your axe. Yeah. So, you, my friend, take this one. There you go. And the rest, it really doesn't matter which axe you're going to Ja zabieram, prawdopodobnie ja zabiorę światła. Tylko w tunelu? Dobra. Dam ci znać. Guys, come closer. So, we've got crampons, we've got axes. We look super cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, a few things. First, we're gonna learn how to use crampons on ice. Uh, but before we do that, I have a one request for you guys. I beg of you, do not take any pictures while you walk. Oh. Every single tour, I see Soma with the smartphone doing this. Yeah? Stonk. If you really cannot help yourself, it's too much beauty to take, you can take that picture, it's absolutely fine. Stop. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's your tour. Stop. We're gonna wait for you. So guys, there are three golden rules walking in crampons, yeah? Uh, before that, I would suggest that if you've got gloves, put your gloves on. Not because it's cold, but if you will trip, which you will not if you follow three golden rules, but if you will trip, your hands gonna do this. Eyes can be very sharp, we don't want you to scratch your palms. Is there anybody in the group who don't have gloves? No gloves. Now go. No, no, no. Okay, guys, so three golden rules walking in crampons. Everyone's watching. Rule number one, you know already, but I'm going to repeat it. You need to keep your feet wide. So, walk like angry cowboys. Yeah? I will be shouting angry cowboy a lot today. And it's just to remind you that you need to keep your feet very wide. The reason for it is if you would walk like you normally would on the pavement, sooner or later, I guarantee you, especially people with puffy trousers, you're going to trip on your trousers. 99% of people tripping on this tour, they trip on their own trousers. If you keep your feet wide, it's physically impossible. Yeah? So rule number one, angry cowboy. Rule number two, pink flamingo. You need to walk like this. You really need to make sure that you put effort to make sure that all these spikes are engaged with the ice. 
A lot of people walk like cats. <laughs> Pointless. Nice and strong, and it's super safe. Yeah. So from now on, it's not a glacier hike. It's a therapy. Every bad emotion that you have in your heart, in your soul, leave it in Iceland, guys. It's gonna melt away. You're gonna go home with nice pictures, but also nicely reborn. Okay. So I want to hear angry footsteps today. And rule number three: your toes always straight until told otherwise. So none of you is walking like this. Is walking like that. You walk like this. Yeah? We do walk with our toes. We do not walk with our heels. Even walking down, whole foot. And because these spikes became the part of your boots, it's much safer to walk with uh, this on ice than with normal boots on the gravel. Because this became part of your boots and your boot is getting inside the surface you're walking on. Yeah? If at any point you feel a little bit unstable, safe safe you can move it uh, each one of you have got an axe for now we're gonna learn how to hold it there's only one way to hold the axe this spike always facing backwards imagine you hold your axe like this you forgot about the angry cow but you trip Bam. Mm. so this spike facing backwards it's super easy to hold you put between two fingers and you close your palm and for most of the tour, it will be hanging just next to you, yeah? From now on, we'll be walking in a single file formation. So each one of you goes through my footsteps. We're going to have a few stops when we can spread. But uh, while we walk, and if not told that we can spread, you stay in a single line. Please be aware of people in front of you. Be aware of people behind you. Don't do this. Yeah? <laughs> Big no, no. I'm on a grand shot. <laughs> okay, so that's for you, my friends. If you can hold your axe in the right way. <coughs> So, I don't want to see London Fashion Week today. No one walks like that. <laughs> nice and wide. Take your time. If you want to use your axe going uphill, you might. But, I can grab it again. A lot of people do this. Great stuff. Again, completely pointless. Everything on the ice is about power. Yeah? Wow. This is how you use your axe. <laughs> so, this is not too steep, so you wouldn't use the axe in here, but if you want to get a little bit steeper and you choose to use your axe, what you do, you put the axe in front of you, nice and strong, two steps. Yeah? Don't walk up. Do you know how to walk down? No. Ah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So, walking down, first you need to turn around. <laughs> Wide feet, lean back, and small, strong steps. You walk like this. Remember, big step? You go. Whole body weight is shifting to the front. You're completely out of control. It looks stupid, it feels stupid, it's super safe. So, let's watch, let's watch our friend going down. Ah. Wide feet, wide feet, lean back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, walk like a boss. Okay. Any questions? Uh, any problems on the way with crampons, axes? You're scared. Super, super normal. Let me know. Safe word for today orange juice. Yeah? If you've got any problem, orange juice me and I'm gonna come and save you. Yeah? She doesn't look so complete.
line, single line, single line, single line. Yeah, single line, my friend. Wow, we, we didn't even start yet. I'm gonna make it smaller for you. Also. Line of people, right? How does it feel to walk on ice? Very hard. Hard. Uh, a bit weird, no? <laughs> Especially, it's a very, very hard ice today. So, guys, uh, we're gonna be going down in a second where this group is. We're just gonna wait for them to get inside the feature. For now, we're gonna learn more stuff about this glacier. A lot of people think we walk on frozen water. We do not walk on frozen water. This is compressed snow. So what happened in the past, as you can see? The valley at the top is very narrow. The snow was snowing, 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 and it wasn't melting. And at some point, it became so heavy that it started to compress itself and turn it into the ice. What happened next? More snow came down, and it became so critically heavy that it started to melt under its own pressure. It started to heat itself up under its own pressure. If you remember, we crossed the bridge. This all water coming from under the glacier. It's because the glacier is melting not only because from the climate change, it's also melting under its own 
pressure. The nature of the glacier is a little bit like a syrup. If you put syrup on the table, it starts to spread in each direction and it tries to fill the whole space that it's been given. That's exactly what the glacier is doing. As you can see, the valley starts to open later on and the glacier is more even out. It's not so dramatic, it's not so uh, compact, the landscape. Because it has more space to, to expand. If you look at this rock behind you, uh, eruption, everyone freaked out. Um, it was a tiny little thing. If that goes up, it's going to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. There's one volcano which was asleep uh, for a long time uh, called Laki. It's very worth actually researching these things. Uh, last eruption, 1753, and during that eruption, nearly half of population of Iceland being killed. Ooh. So, you see all this. You see this nothing behind you. This flatness. This is the uh, largest flat field in the world, and it's only after one eruption. It's after Laki's eruption. So you need to be aware that most of volcanoes in Iceland are under the ice. So if there is an eruption, that ice is melting. So we've got evacuation plans 200 miles each direction. So about 200 miles each direction from this place, uh, no people will be allowed. So we will be walking down in a second. Now we're going to go. Yeah? You've lost your axe. Do you want axe? Yeah. No, 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 no. Guys, today ice is very hard, but it's also very blue as you can see. Um, why ice is blue? Why ice is blue? Why when you take a, 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 an ice cube from the fridge, it's cloudy or transparent? When you see here, or even when you, you walk, you know, it's super blue. Why? There is no air inside. I like the idea. Uh, you're into something, yeah. So the whole visible spectrum of light ha has all the colors on the rainbows, yeah? That's why we perceive colors. Once it hits the ice, all colors are allowed inside, but only blue color is allowed outside, yeah? So because of the molecules of frequency of the molecules of frozen water. Uh, to get this blue color or this blue color, you need a lot of volume of ice. Mm -hmm. So by looking at the color of the ice, you can kind of predict how thick it is and if it's safe to walk on, yeah. So this is one of the main things that actually we will look at when we're working with clients on a glacier. How blue is it? Okay, so we're just gonna... The more blue, the thicker ice. Yeah. So, we, guys, walking down, remember, walk like you own it. Lean back. Baby steps. Yeah? Do not walk like cats. I know it's very graceful. Walk like a Godzilla. I want to have a bunch of elephants behind me, yeah? Nice and strong. Not like that. Strong. Yes. Yes. Don't <laughs> So guys, if we can just clear this path, so if you scoot a little bit to your left, you're walking, I like that, I like that, nice, that's the first army, you're in the army now. Diamond. 
is actually professional. So, in Iceland, that means you're married. High five. No, don't put it in your pocket. Don't put it in your pocket. It's too easy. I feel your pockets on fire. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Hello. It's scary, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Keep your axes next to my back. We don't need them inside, so you can put them just there. Be careful on stones in here with your platforms. Okay. So guys, this feature is slightly different than the one that we saw before. This one is much more adventurous. And this one is much bigger, it's less blue though. Uh, the deal with this feature is that we all come in, in and we all stay in, in. Yeah? So I don't want to have position when, uh, a situation when someone is outside taking pictures, someone is out, uh, inside. So if we're all inside, we're all inside. Then when we're all walking outside, we all slowly start to walk outside. Okay, make sense? Perfect. Let's do it. Nice and slowly. And just wait for everybody. And definitely have your gloves on, guys, because in a second you will have to touch a lot of ice. Watch your head. And here you can see that the, this feature is much bigger than the previous one. That means that there was much more water activity going through this place than uh, the other one. Uh, surprisingly, the ice in here is not as blue as in the other one. If we switch off all the lights, this is actually blue, uh, blue ice on the top, you can see. But this, it just shows you that even a massive volume of ice like this is not enough to change the color of the ice. So imagine the volume of ice we actually have above us, if that's blue, and this is like transparent, cloudy. Yeah, so it's a lot, a lot of ice. If you guys want, you can one by one just go and see what's behind that corner over there. There is a very blue bit over there. 
Don't go inside because it's very narrow. You will have to actually crawl back. Mm -hmm. And once you've done, I will do it like one by one. Once you've done with this, you're gonna follow me in here because there is another thing, cool thing, that we're gonna go through. It's a tunnel. And this tunnel has been created very recently. That's a very new feature, a uh, new addition to this, uh, this feature. Um, is there anyone claustrophobic in here? If you are, this is the moment to face your fears. Yeah. <laughs> also guys, you probably won't be able to see all the way through. Pay attention, do not trip on your own trousers. It's super easy. And the easiest way to go through this tunnel is to put two hands like that and literally grab it. So just do not cross your feet and you, you'll be absolutely fine. If you trip, nothing will happen. You're just gonna get a little bit dirty. And if you're gonna be in a place where I am at the moment actually, I can see a very blue eyes behind you. <laughs> so maybe it's just from this, maybe it all depends which uh, way light is going. But yeah, if you want, have a look over there, one by one, then once you're done, or oh, you want to take a picture over there, you can come this way. And we slowly will be moving inside of this eye. So yeah, if you want to go, have a look, the rest can wait. Just make sure, you can, like you can go behind him, but just make sure that you've got a space to actually, you know, switch places. Okay. And I, I know that at the end, it gets very, very narrow, and then you have to have like, switch places. We overcrowd something, don't look at anybody behind him. Guys, make sure that you, I'm not saying rush it, but don't stay there for like 10 minutes, allow other people to see it. But don't rush it, Do not definitely don't rush it. So yeah, this one is gonna last much longer than the small one. But the ideally we would have this with the ice from there you know but yeah, uh -huh. like you're actually quite lucky because sometimes there is no caves open because okay. it's not safe to bring people in and i had one tour cave tour when i couldn't take people to the <laughs> Who cave did it get? I was like, oh, <laughs> sorry but that's you know you cannot really predict uh, it's nature Nat yeah it's <laughs> okay so lovely friends come this way so we crab it slowly in Oh, oh. Do not step on your own trousers. Yeah. Keep walking into the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your way through. You want caving? This is ice caving. Ice caving. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your feet are not together. Make sure you don't trip. Oh, you see, you make it much harder for yourself. Look. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Much easier. Other people behind you? Yeah. yeah. Okay.
can see how the water okay. actually curls. Uh, 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 all surrounding. So guys, in here there is a massive rock. So just be aware of the rock. Look for it. It's super easy to spot. And go over it. Do not stand on it. Because you might trip. Your so nice. Uh, it's it it was drilled or it's naturally formed. That's all natural. Oh. Yeah, that's all natural. <laughs> so we need to find that kind find of stuff. Find it. Yeah. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna yeah. Second, we're gonna go up, but going up is much easier than going down, so don't worry. Okay, so grab, grab. And I'm Axe, sorry. you guys... Uh, can you loosen the helmet because I'm Is feeling... Is it too loose? No, I'm feeling pain. Uh, You're feeling pain? Yeah, can you loosen it? Ah, yeah. Martin, uh, go on for Perfect. No, just to let you know, I just feel like... Um,
everyone. So it's better now. Yeah. You're not no, in pain. No. I don't want you to be in pain on your <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Stay to your left, stay to your left. Ah. Stay to your left, guys. To your left, to your left, to your left, to your left. To your left. To your left, yes. Single fire. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. In here, we can spread, so stop. Just don't go over there, you see there is a hole with ice. So guys, in a second, we're gonna head back into the moraine track. So, come forward, like in here you can spread, it's super safe. If you want a picture with this beauty, take it now or lose it forever. And if you need my help with taking pictures, let me know. Super easy, yeah? Of course. So it's one minute of silence for Instagram. It should be like that, yeah. Nice. One, two, three. Let's do a different angle. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Not a problem. Do you help? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Um, P30. Wow. Okay. It's, uh, no, it's, it looks so good. <sighs> Perfect. There you go, my friend. Thank you. Not a problem. Anybody, anybody. Come here.
Oh, yeah. If you look at me now, you won't have any Uh, let's be both take and selfie. Selfie? Yeah. Make me famous, man. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, India. Make me famous. <laughs> Thank you. Don't go too high. Don't go too high. Come back. Don't run away. I don't buy. Okay. Strong. <laughs> ah, exactly. Walking up is easy. Walking down. White feet. White. Angry cowboy. Angry cowboy. Angry cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. She's got it. Okay, people, let's go to the moraine. So follow me. Same for line formation. Come, friends, family members. She's running off. Come, come, come. Your strap, your crampon, your strap, your strap, oh God. your hair, your strap. Look at your strap. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Everyone is holding axe in the right way. Everyone is holding your axe in the right way. Everyone's holding the right way. Oh. 5,000 Corona. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go this way. How many people we're gonna lose today? <laughs> Hopefully none. So far so good, no? Yeah. <laughs> you you've got a problem? I can fix your problem. Or induce me if you cannot manage. It's a strap again. Is it? Do you need some help? Uh, no, it's okay. You sure? Yeah. If it comes out again, just let me know.
plate. Because we're team players. <laughs> Slowly, 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 slowly. Iceland has one of the longest expectancies of life on the planet because no one is rushing. Austria. <laughs> it's true though. the time will not rush. We're gonna go down and we're gonna have a step next to the cave over there. And we're gonna talk to you about it. We're gonna take our samples off once we actually down. It's gonna be easier to the next to the now.
Walking down, remember to lean back and small step. Do not run. Small step. Super easy. No bad. Not bad. Almost Christmas already. Well, for us it's tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Are you spending Christmas here? Well, yeah. Now. Sounds good. Christmas is Kafka Fest. Yeah. Uh, not, not sure about it, you know. <laughs> is your first uh, time spending Christmas here? Uh, yeah. yeah. We'll see. First out of many of first and last. I hope so. We'll see. Come on, give me some sugar. Oh. Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas to you. All the best in 2020. Yeah, you too. Easy time. Yeah. <laughs> Small steps, yeah? Small steps. I'm very surprised that no one actually tripped because that's, that's very unusual <laughs> for a tour like that. It's yeah. very unusual. So guys, crampons off. Uh, we're just gonna wait for everyone. Because once you took a camp and don't stand on this because it's too... <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's done. Hot chocolate at home, no? <laughs> Hello. So. No, ale Wigilia jest mamo płatę. To się połamiemy o płatę. A i co Nie wiem. Zapraszamy. Wiesz, zawsze się zostawia jedno nakryte dla przyjaznego gościa. Dla głodnej Karoliny. Guys, take your crampons off and what I would like you to do when you take them off is to spoon them together just like that. So spikes are facing the same direction. 
Then you're going to take your plastic, take a strap, put it right in the middle, do not do any knots at the end, just leave it like that. And your axe goes through the heel to the toe, through the toe to the heel, it really doesn't matter. If any of you, like you, my friend, need some help, I can help you with that. To make it super easy for you. And then you take your axe and that goes on your axe just twice. And you can put your helmet on it as well. Yeah. Then wrap it around. Uh, right in the middle. It doesn't matter which side. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Anyone needs help? Yes. This is a very good example of how we're losing ice in here. So this bit in here, guys, looked almost the same as this bit over there about three months ago. Mm. So this is how fast it's melting. So you see this river coming from under the glacier. <coughs> this is the water that's been created by the glacier melting under its own pressure. So the glacier is so heavy and it's putting so much pressure on top that actually starts to heat itself up at the bottom and it melts. And then to that river, the glacier actually travels, starts to move. All this massive chunk of ice, they keep falling off. So that's why we will not be going too close to it. This is our like a no-go zone after that stone. And um, this is very, very heavy. If it keeps falling off. So if that bit falls off, it's not necessarily that the ice might uh, uh, hurt you. All the snows, they will be flying in our direction. So we won't be going too close. Um, if you want to pick the river, take it now and live it, like lose it forever. Uh, but yeah, this is a very, very good example where we talk about how we lose an ice in here because this is this ice is still ice that it's alive. So what means? It means that it's keep moving and it's keep growing. This ice that we were walking on up uh, down because actually we're walking on ice. All this terrain is ice as well. Uh, it's a dead ice. That means that this ice is not moving. It's not growing. It's only melting. These glaciers keep growing. So, but it's a little bit like taking one foot forward and seven steps back. One step forward, seven steps back. So in total, we're losing it. We're gonna cross the bridge now, guys. You know the road, keep <laughs> on at the same time. And once you cross the bridge, you can start to head to the white pass. So we can just jump on the bridge and head to the white pass. You can go together. This way, it doesn't matter how much this is like.
but uh, they're really cool. I think I bought them all the same size. One size to get out. Or I lost that one size. Yeah, I did not shoot enough. Right. Okay guys, we go over this bridge. We go over it. Uh, we go walk everybody at the time. Wow, oh, man, you've got everything. I'm sorry. If I could move, I would definitely move to Galway. But for Europeans, it's slightly difficult these days. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I
Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff. I took 10, I brought 10 back. <laughs>